Hello, and welcome to the Longmeadow Adult Center Cook-Off. Today, we're cooking chili. There's so many ways to cook chili, and we'll hear about some of them, but the original recipe is a very American, Mexican-American dish. It was originally just beef and suet, which I think is fat, mm -hmm. beef fat, and then salt and chili peppers, and they would cook it and then dry it, form it into bricks, take it on the trail, put it in boiling water, and eat it. Well, anyway, American chili today is a variety of uh, different kinds of ingredients. And we have, for our cook-off today, uh, Marie Angelides, the chair of the select board, who's been here before cooking. You want to tell us a little about your chili? I'm making black bean chili. It's all vegetarian and not yeah. too not too spicy not too spicy not too spicy what vegetables are you putting in it it's black bean chili okay. with uh red peppers and onions and uh, then there's toppings for it it was a favorite of my kids as they were growing up we didn't eat meat on wednesdays and fridays and it was really challenging to figure out what to make for them that they would enjoy and they really liked the black bean chili okay and emily perkins the um, chair, president, head, and <laughs> master chef, master chef <laughs> of the Long Meadow Adult Center. What are you making today, Emily? I am making turkey and bean chili for all of you out there who like meat. I'm not talking about this. <laughs> but I am um, not a master chef, I will say, so I do have a recipe. This is my favorite recipe. I have stolen it, I will admit it, from Cooking Light magazine. But it's wonderful. It is spicy, so if you really don't like spice, don't eat that much of it. When Emily says it's spicy, it's spicy. I like spicy, it's spicy. food, so it, it was warm for me last As time. I told Emily, I can't cook, but I can read. So having a recipe is a good idea. Do you cook from taste, or do you uh, use recipes? Oh, I use recipes. I, will, I might switch them around a bit for uh, the flavors I know the family likes, but I definitely go for recipe. And this recipe, I actually went to Epicurious.com and looked up their black bean chili, which was very similar to the recipe that I was using. So you can get right off the Internet. All righty. All righty. Well, they're going to start cooking right now. You already have things open, right? I, I do. Start with the turkey and then I'll Yeah. Where's the turkey, Emily? It's, it's behind us. I have to go to the farm and get it. Let <laughs> 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 okay. me stir this one so we don't burn it while I'm warning, warning it up. All right, so to save some time, I've pre-chopped, pre-opened, pre-washed, um, so we should be, should be pretty fast for you. This recipe, I love it. It takes 20 minutes from start to finish. I mean, it is boom, boom, boom. <laughs> If you guys know me running around here, that's how I like it, nice and fast. So, what we're gonna start with is, oh, here's the turkey. Here's the turkey. I'm like, where's the turkey? I didn't do everything, so I wouldn't be too, too fast. So just a package, ground turkey, nice and simple. It's ground. It's Looks like hamburger, ground. only lighter. We put it on medium heat. So the first things you're gonna do is you're gonna have about a cup of onion, chopped up onion. You mix that in with it. I cut that last night so none of you would see me crying up here. I was crying like a little <laughs> child. Um, now the recipe calls for a bottle of minced garlic. I have it here, cloves, and one jalapeno pepper. If you don't like spice, just add a little less. You might want to pull that away from me because I did bring the dicer for this. I use this lovely hand dicer because I'm leaving. As seen on TV. As seen. As seen. Here. Really easy, especially if you have arthritis or it's difficult to cut things up. You really second. mashed it. I really did. Seeds and all. I'm going to do the same thing to the garlic because nobody likes to do that either. It's really pulverized, folks. Really pulverized. <laughs> Show the camera. That's yes. how pulverized it is. Yeah. So then we just mix that in. 
So you didn't brown the turkey first? You do it all together so the flavor goes into the turkey. So you're just going to do this until it browns. And then we add the rest of the ingredients. Remember, this is not my home gasoline. Okay, we'll let yeah. you keep browning. Yep. Yep. Hey, where'd Marie go? Oh, hey, Marie. We're going to have to go kind of, oh, we're going back and forth? Okay. Yeah. Do you have to brown yours? Oh, Gee, no. I thought you, <laughs> I thought you quit. I quit. <laughs> well, I put olive oil in the pan, and I like to use a good Greek olive oil. And uh, I love the mayonnaise olive oil. It's the closest I, we get to what tastes like from the village. And then I She's also, Greek, you know. <laughs> For those of you who yes, don't know. The family usually brings it back in large containers, but when we run out, that this is really a good one. I, I made three large onions, well, actually three medium or two large, a lot of onions. I chopped up ahead of time, as small as I could get it, and six cloves of garlic. So I cut that ahead you of time. You didn't use any equipment. No, it was a long time this morning, too. <laughs> because I made another pot behind me for everyone to be able to taste. I'm not sure how fast this will work, but what I usually like to do is I like this in a lot of olive oil and till it turns yellow. And you know how you really get it just even past the uh, stage where it's a little translucent till it's very yellow. And once that is softened and really yellow, then what I do is I have chopped up these red peppers. They're sweet and you seed them, you chop them up into small pieces, and I usually try to soften my onion and my garlic a little ahead of time, then I throw this in. And then I'm gonna leave it here to cook for like 10 minutes. So I'm just going to stir it every now and then, and I'm gonna cover it so it really cooks well. Okay, this is the boring part of the program where things are <laughs> cooking. <laughs> How you doing over here, Emily? So I can kind of go through the steps. Yeah, just go through the steps. Obviously, these are small portable ranges, so the heat and the, the speed that they have is not going to be what we have at home, more than likely. Blame the kitchen. I am going to blame the kitchen, <laughs> though I love this kitchen because it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so basically, for six minutes, this is going to brown. It's going to work together. You're going to be able to start smelling it. I can smell it. Yeah. Can you smell it? I smell these guys too. The next step is one tablespoon chili powder. I think it's going to matter if it's not brown here. A tablespoon? Another way you can make it not so spicy <laughs> is to use less. <laughs> I really did not remember this recipe being as spicy as it was, but it is. So it will clean your sinuses out. Mm -hmm. It's good for that. Um, I've never even read a recipe that calls for a tablespoon of chili pepper. You haven't cooked in my house then. I haven't, I haven't, no. The spicier, the better. How many servings do your recipe make? Question is, how many servings does your recipe make? That's a good question. Depends on the size of the eater. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the recipe she you has no them. idea. No, no, no. It, it, Four. Four. This is four. I used to make it much bigger, so that's why I wasn't really sure. Um, four maybe. small people? No. Four, <laughs> four, four counting two bowl. kids who won't eat it? Good point. Good point. Good point. I, I'm going to be eating a lot of chili for the next couple of days here. Because people don't eat it. Okay. Please do. Uh, no, I'd, I'd go four to six. Easily, but it depends if you want a really big bowl, if you want a smaller bowl. I ate a smaller bowl last night because I didn't want to take it all from everyone in here. So um, I'll go four to six. What I like about this recipe is that it's pretty healthy for you considering chili. I use lower sodium tomato paste, fat free turkey. Um, no salt added diced tomatoes. This is no salt added yeah. at all. And we do add some salt in, but it's only a quarter of a teaspoon, so it's really, it's not that much. I figured Not a tablespoon. Not a tablespoon. I figure it's easier to add salt if you really like salt than it is to take it out. 
So, two, two. How many does yours serve? Actually, Looks like a big pot. Yes, and I have what I the completed recipes in the filling that slow cooker. So it's a family of five. We would eat it. There would be some leftovers. The next day, we'd put it on top of Spanish rice, or the kids would wrap in a tortilla. So it it can last a long time. And what do you serve with it? Or do um, you just like? Everyone likes sit the around the fire and oh no they like the toppings you could put all sorts of toppings someone would not you put cheese you put sour cream I also have non-fat Greek yogurt you can use and then we'd have a little cornbread on the side or maybe a salad but usually the bowl of chili would be enough to really fill you so once my um, really starts to soften here um, I have pre-opened three cans of the black beans and you sort of drain most of the juice out of it. And so what I would just hang it over the sink. So most of the juice runs out and then I would put the can in. So there is some juice that comes in here, that's fine. And then what I do is I put the spices right into the beans here while this is still cooking. And as I said, I sort of cut down what they were saying. Uh, the recipe calls for two tablespoons of chili powder. And I said, no, no, I'm going to do one tablespoon of chili powder. See, but then we're both good, as mean. Would we say this is going to serve six? This, this could serve five or six. But still, once we're, uh, we're done here, I think it gets a little spicy, especially for kids. So there's the chili powder. And then I'm, one tablespoon. One tablespoon. And then I put in, they asked for the canned red pepper. And uh, again, I'm putting half of the amount that's asked in there. So I'm probably- Say cayenne? Gonna... Cayenne pepper, yeah. Red pepper, that's spicy too. <laughs> so I put in, I'm only gonna put in half of that, which is a tablespoon. And then I do like the taste teaspoon. and the kids, uh, teaspoon, half of a teaspoon. And then the kids do like the taste of the grand cumin, brown cumin, which isn't spicy, but it does add flavor to it. And that was one and a half teaspoons of um, see. okay well that's about right I I'm not a, a distinct I don't measure that carefully because once I do is I taste it to see and then the um, dried oregano and I showed I get my oregano from the village and so I, we ground it up ourselves and that's what it looks like what do you mean the village uh, back in Greece my family you from, import your oregano? We import our oregano. I'm so, not that fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one and a half teaspoons, but you can get this at the store. But I usually rub it into there and add to the flavor of that. So once one they... One very small handful. <laughs> well, it's one and a half teaspoons. And then I do put in a little kosher salt. I like using kosher salt. Oh, that came out too fast. And so what I do is just put in about a half a teaspoon of that, and I'm not putting this in. There's a basket behind you. Oh, there we go. Thanks. I'm not putting in pepper in this. Everyone can do that to taste. And then I stir all the seasoning into the black beans. So those can just sit there while I finish up um, the other part. And then I'll check this, stir this a bit to make sure it doesn't burn. Again, I'm not stingy with the olive oil. I'll be putting in three or four tablespoons of olive oil because I really want it to get that nice yellow uh, color. And when it's you turning start yellow. the spices to it, I'll show you there, it's yellow and it, it's really starting to soften up. And then you'll see I have the spices already in the black beans. And it depends on how you like it and how much you're going to put in the oregano and everything else. And you might decide that this is really not spicy enough for you. And you could just add more of the chili powder. I'm Irish. I'm sure it's spicy enough. <laughs> just like my mom. <laughs> there. And then we just, I stir it. I find you really want to stir it a lot to get all the flavors mixed in. And then the very last thing I'm going to do to this is add crushed tomatoes, the whole can. What interesting is if you do go to epicurious.com and you look at the recipe, you'll read the reviews and people will tell you their own take on it on the computer. And some people say, well, we really like the chopped uh, tomatoes, so it gives it a chunkier taste when you, and other people said, well, we like adding corn to this recipe. 
And I love putting corn in things. My husband doesn't, so I've never These done are it. crushed tomatoes you're putting this in? This is just crushed tomatoes. This is the original recipe asked, actually asked for tomato sauce, but I like a little bit of texture. So I went ahead and got the crushed, but I wouldn't hesitate next time to put in um, chunk tomatoes or even cut some fresh ones in there. It's almost like a, a well, you'd say a goulash, where you could just sort of add anything you want to it at the end. This sounds like a real cook. <laughs> she cooks by taste, Oops. by impulse. Looking good. How are you doing yeah, over I'm here, good. Emily? I'm good. We're, oh, uh, yeah. We're ready. So one thing that I didn't say with the turkey. Turkey's brown. Yeah, when you're browning it, I wasn't trying to be rude to Marie while doing this, but you have to really chop it up because you don't want big chunks of turkey. You want it, you know, small little pieces. So it looks good. It's good and brown. So this is when we start adding our ingredients. I measure everything. I'm kind of neurotic that way. I will look yes. Good. It's true. So we start with a tablespoon of chili powder. Which doesn't seem so much anymore. <laughs> right, after her two. What a darling oh. tablespoon. I know, it's kind of fun, isn't it? I like this thing. I go in the order of, it's the, like a little shovel. of the things I need. So you're going to just put them in and stir it up. So it doesn't just stay in one plate. Next thing is two tablespoons of tomato paste. Pretty simple. Kidding when I said I measure it all. And this can be a little over, a little under, whatever. It is. There goes measurement. <laughs> I know, I, I know, it's so funny. Huh? All right. We're just going to leave that in there. I can back that thing up. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so our next thing is two teaspoons of oregano. Are you using the same measure for everything? No. No. You can't probably see all of this, but I have, so I didn't have to stare at the recipe. I put the teaspoon of measurement I needed by what it was. So now I'm kind of going by memory. See how it tastes after. All right. So it's tea two, two teaspoons of oregano and then one teaspoon of cumin. Yeah. We use a lot of the same stuff. I just put turkey. Okay. So those are your basic things. I'm gonna start up. Let it start working in there. And then you start putting the wet ingredients in. So I've already rinsed this, but it's just one can cannellini beans. Rinsed, you know, uh, what is it? Rinsed and uh, drained, obviously drained and rinsed. I've done it to some extent. It happened to me last night too. That it They're white done. beans. Yep. Yeah, white beans. White kidney beans. Marie uses black beans. Sometimes I do. I do actually go off and I'll add, if I want more beans, I will add different types of beans. I knew it. Well, I knew it. But I wasn't going to do that here just in case it tasted bad. If something, if it's if it's bad for me, then it's bad for me. But if it's bad for you guys, then I'm embarrassed. So. All right. Just one can, diced tomatoes, not drained. You want those juices. Stir it up. And then it's it's just one can of low sodium. Might be, yeah. Low sodium, what is that? Low sodium chicken broth. And it's, it's a can, but I had this and I was making two batches, so half and half for each one. It always looks funny to me, but there it is. Stir it up. Looking good. They're both looking good. Oh, so they're here. so pretty. I'll, I'll so my, my last two things, and then I'm done, this is just going to simmer, is a quarter teaspoon of salt and ground pepper. 
and then you cover it up, stir it in there, cover it up, and let it simmer for 10 minutes, you're done. You're good to go. So that is fast. Yeah. And mine's just about done, too. It's just a few minutes. I'll show the camera what it looks like. Doesn't it look pretty? Yeah. <laughs> and what I tended to do with my family is you make a pot, and then you put it in the crock pot, you put it aside because everyone's schedule changes, and there's it's warm, and when they walk in the house, they can smell it, and uh, then they could everyone can just come in whenever it's time for their dinner. You, you, you serve up how much you want, and then their favorite part was you have the variety of choices from uh, green onions you can put on top, cilantro, you can put that on top. And then what I tended to do is they, the recipe calls for sour cream. We like non-fat Greek yogurt. So some people can, uh, you put a dab of that on top and that just adds a little something, they mix it up. Um, the other thing that you can do, as I said, put on fresh tomatoes, whatever you like in the way of topping. Mm -hmm. And whatever you side you want, whether it's cornbread or tortilla or pita bread, and um, then it depends on how you like it. Yeah. Or you can put it on cheese. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Thank you for reminding me. Now, the recipe calls for Monterey Jack. I tended to get the four cheese Mexican and of course it just depends on what the family likes and there was always one kid who had more cheese in their bowl than they did Shelly. Uh, but, and that, that, you're right, thank you, that's oh, that the last bit is, is the cheese that Look goes Look how pretty top. that is. You got a shot of that, Doug? The, the nice that's thing about pretty. it, it's very high in fiber, it is protein, you are able to get away from, from the, the meats at least uh, once a week. And um, if you wanted to, you could cut down on the sodium on it. I always add a little kosher salt, but if you wanted to, you could buy a black bean with low sodium in it, too. Okay. So beans really replace meat, right? That's it's the beans. It's the beans, and the beans have the protein, too. Mm. Mm. Let's see how pretty yours looks. I didn't bring in a bowl, so. I'll put it in a little bowl. Can you see in here? Yes, it's, uh, it's whiter. It's like a white chili because the turkey's light and the beans are light. I put cheese on it also. Um, I go for sour cream, but the er, um, low-fat Greek yogurt would be a healthier way. Okay, we have time for a couple of questions, but we have to do some tasting too. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I wasn't sabotaging you. Any questions? No. Uh, and I know that if you've ever gone to try to Google a recipe, it's really interesting now because I used to always have all my books out and compare and yeah. try to remember which recipe I used. But now that you can go and you can Google a recipe, it, they'll give you all different varieties and it's nice to compare and it gives you a little more freedom in deciding what you have in your pantry and what you can use. But as you can see, many of our spices are the same. Yep. The chili powder, the cumin, you just didn't use the cayenne pepper, but you used the dry oregano's. Now, as long as we're talking about the internet, like everybody uses it every day, like <laughs> I do, we are gonna post these recipes on our Facebook page. And how do people get to the Facebook page, Emily? Just go into Facebook and search Longmeadow Adult Center. It should pop right up. You'll see people skiing in the center of our building. <laughs> yes, and dancing. She has a video of dancing. I do. Yep. Now, uh, but and please like us. We only have eight oh, likes. More than that. Oh, there's more now. Well, we're popular. <laughs> <laughs> Just so be sure to say you like us. And unfortunately, today's a nice cold day for chili. Okay, Ben, would you, you know. hand out some? And well, actually, Vanessa? come up if you want to have any Oh, yeah, meat, you could uh, come up and get toppings. Great, right, thank you for bringing the toppings. Who wants the hot meat one? And we've also got the, um, I have cornbread here for everybody. Well, my favorite part is how fast it goes. Once you have everything open and. Hot meat? You mean how fast it cooks? How fast? How fast you ma can make it? Yeah, yeah, that's I love it. This will be done by the time we're done. What would you want, Mr. Anthony? 
I'll have the meat one. Uh, you're, you're supporting Emily. I can see that. That's not fair. <laughs> you really should taste both and tell us which you like. Oh. With the toppings, you're way behind in the spooning. Put it, you hold it up. You can't do it. I only have the two hands. Is it good? I loved it. You loved it? You have to try the other one, Anthony. I will. Come try the other one. Which, which one is spicier? I just heard someone say it. Oh, sure. Woo! Oh, oh, it is? No, I feel better. Really? <laughs> the meat one is spicier? Oh, I have to try the bean one spicier. Here. Eventually, all the liquid will absorb into the meats. Well, this has been great. We're just about out of time, aren't we? Let's spend, what do you think? Which is spicier? Just, just be nice to me. Remember, I don't cook. <laughs> but she does read, and uh, she's very liberal with the teaspoons. You do? Spicy. Which is spicier? Did you try each one? Hers is you like spicier? it? Really? Did you try yeah. this one? I did try yeah. And you still <laughs> like that one better? <laughs> He's a meat guy. Oh, oh, I can take one here. Yeah, take that one. Okay, They're thank both. you. <laughs> They're both very spicy. Okay, well, just remember, <laughs> cut the yeah. all of it in half. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you all for coming today and thank seeing you. the Long Meadow Adult Center cook off. <laughs> and enjoy your chili at home. and. Go to Facebook, get the recipe, and like us. <laughs> Thank you.